Hey, Doug, I'm so here for Doc Sports, and today is September the 3rd. Labor Day's in the rearview mirror, and the next holiday, I guess, is Halloween for uh, most people. So, hey, the, uh, I'm going to change it up today a little bit. Instead of just giving the normal free picks, okay, that we normally do, I'm going to talk about a topic, a specific topic, related to the NFL today, and about this upcoming week for week one. And if you like it, well... Subscribe to this YouTube channel, first of all, and then if you like it, just let me know. Make a comment, hit the like button, whatever, because what we're going to talk about is NFL teasers. Now, over the years, I've had a lot of success, quite honestly, in doing NFL teasers, and it's following a very specific way of going about it. So that's what we're going to talk a little bit about here, and then I'm going to also give you uh, picks for either two-teamer, a three-teamer, two-teamers, I should say, three-teamers, or a four-teamer, okay? So that's what we're going to do, and that's what we're going to cover uh, here as well. Now, I'll, don't forget, I will have NFL and college football picks at Docs on Thursday. That's DocSports.com. I'll have those at th uh, Thursday at 3 Pacific, 6 Eastern time. They'll be all released at that time. So you can check those all out. So I'm excited about that. I know for sure I got three NFL picks ready to roll on that. And But what we're going to talk about here are some teasers. Now, one of the things that you hear about a lot of times when people talk about teasers, you know, they say stay away from the exotic bets, you know, they're, they're, you're going to lose money and, you know, it's not a good thing. Don't bet parlays. You know, that's, it's for the most part, that's all true. However, you know what? I know you're still going to do it. Okay, so let's not kid ourselves. You're still going to do it. You're not supposed, you're supposed to eat vegetables. You're supposed to not drink. You're not supposed to do all these other things, but you're still doing those things anyways. Okay, so just face facts. You're gonna bet. You're gonna bet some things. So let's talk about teasers in particular and the six-point teasers specifically. You know, it's not about the just finding numbers that take spreads that are lower and higher. It's about being able to get into the key numbers that matters most. Of course, you have to have the right teams, but you have the have to have the right teams in the right numbers. So that's why it's very important to look for key numbers, and the key numbers, of course, for football are three, six, seven. 10, 13, and 14. Those, and that's in in order, by the way, starting with the first one. That's the order that you should look for and how you should follow. Now, I'm of the opinion that you should be playing no more than a four-teamer for teasers. Now, there are bigger paydays, and if you look at any sports book, what you're going to find is once you go from four to five, it really goes up the amount of money that you can win if you hit a five-teamer, a six-teamer, or whatever. There is a reason for that, because your odds of losing go up. So at two, three, and four, you're not going to win as much, but you have an opportunity to win more often and more frequently. So that really becomes the key here. So, and I can give you any number of countless times that somebody I know or people that I've know, they'll take an 18 teaser, and what do they do? What do they do? They hit seven out of eight. Guess what? That's a loser. So the idea here is instead of trying to do that, is to put the odds in your favor that are tighter, but you can win more frequently. I mean, you know, for every guy that goes around, and there's and there's guys every single weekend that hit 10 team teasers, that hit 10 team parlays, or whatever it happens to be. But I can almost rest assured to guarantee to tell you, whatever they just won, they have spent the last X number of years and or money that they won, they probably have spent that or more in most cases chasing this one winner that they can talk about for the rest of their life. So the idea is to win and put the odds in your favor. All right. So like I said, now I'm going to give you some teams here uh, in terms of, you know, hard reasoning. I'll just I'll touch on it again next week. Uh, again, if you like this, like I said, hit the like button, comment, uh, go in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. And we'll just and we'll take it from there. If you don't like it, you know what? <laughs> we won't bother to do it. Simple as that. All right. Now we got to, one of the ones that I like is uh, Washington and Philadelphia. Now Philadelphia opens at minus nine. If you take them on a six point teaser, they're down to minus three. Now this is a game that the you know it's 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 game it's week one and it's game one. So with that, you got a divisional game. 
minus nine's a big number. But if we take it down to minus three on Philadelphia, now we go through a six and we go through a seven and we're down to a three. And we definitely put the odds much more on our side. And uh, when Doug Peterson, as the home coach for the Philadelphia Eagles, their margin of victory at home, like it is in this game, is 9.5 points per game. Take the Eagles on the teaser at minus three. Now, another one you can match it up is with Baltimore and Miami. Baltimore it opened at minus seven, and that's where, actually where they're at. Take the teaser, they're down to minus one against Miami. Now, uh, Baltimore's look great in the preseason again. Miami, not so much. They're totally rebuilding with some of the trades that they made this past week. Taking it from minus seven down to minus one, all we got to do is basically win the game. The only way that we can't win this teaser is if Baltimore wins by one point. Otherwise, if they lose, well, it doesn't make any difference. A loss is a loss. In that case, let's go with Baltimore at minus one. Next up, Indianapolis is at the LA Chargers. Uh, minus six and a half for the Chargers. Teaser down to zero, minus 0 0.5. Okay, um, maybe the Chargers come out a little bit flat with no Andrew Luck. Not, you know, but it's a 60-minute game. I think they'll do enough to win the game. And again, here, all we got to do is win the game. Uh, point of note, Chargers, 33-0 against the teaser line against the AFC South. Finally, if you want to play a four-teamer, Houston is at New Orleans. Saints, minus one, excuse me, minus seven, down to minus one on the teaser line. Uh, Houston made a flurry of trades right before the uh, season started. Don't really know what's going on there. Uh, trading, in some cases, really good players trying to show up. Didn't really affect the line in any way, surprisingly enough, at least to me. Uh, so we can take New Orleans at home on the opening week at just minus one on the teaser line. I certainly like Drew Brees and the boys to get that done. So there you have it. Four teaser picks. New Orleans on the teaser line. The, uh, uh, the LA Chargers on the teaser line. Baltimore Ravens on the teaser line. And the Philadelphia Eagles on the teaser line. There you have it. Okay. So good luck with that. Uh, enjoy the games. Uh, I'll be back on Wednesday, the September the 4th. We'll talk more. And I'll give you some more, uh, give you some more free picks. Regular picks, not not just these. Regular picks for games that we got coming up. Should be an exciting weekend coming up with that Packer Bear game on Thursday. Looking forward to that. So this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. We'll see you tomorrow. As of right now, I'm out.